Security in Africa continues to be a major topic of concern to leaders as well as African citizens at large. For instance, the Boko Haram insurgency in Nigeria and the communal conflicts in Kaduna, among other conflicts on the continent. The recent Tana Forum in Ethiopia concluded on Sunday with the participants reflecting on ideas, solutions and directions on how to finance Africa's peace and security. But the question several people are asking is, if funding is such a big issue, then how would more money help in tackling insecurity across Africa? In our Tubahedar, where the Tana Forum was held, Dil Diaby, a political analyst, was able to decipher the conclusions of this meeting to our deputy editor in chief, Razia Atman. The debate on the financing of the organization was at the center of the discussions, and this is not new. But the question we can ask ourselves is what will the AU do if it had all the money in the world? Listen to our expert's answer. Well, I think it, that is an excellent question. Uh, there was a lot of discussion about how to increase the mobilization of resources for the African Union so that it can fund special, especially the peace uh, operations on the continent. But I think that there was uh, one important question missing. Uh, it is the use of the resources that we, we have and that we can mobilize. Uh, I think one of the key recommendations of the Kagame report on the reform of the African Union is for the Union to focus on key key priorities. So it's not just about increasing resources, it is also about looking at the best way to use the resources. And I think it is all the more important that we are talking about a continent uh, where we still have at the international level a lot of structural problems. You know, health systems are not working, education systems are failing in a number of countries, and actually evidence of that is that the leaders are not sending the, the kids to the public schools and they are not getting health care in their own countries. Countries. So it means that every dollar or every euro or every uh, CFR franc that we will be using, putting in one uh, African Union mechanism is also uh, uh, a dollar that could be used maybe more efficiently in something else. So it is very important to look uh, beyond the, u the, the, the issue which is important of increasing the resources uh, and reducing the dependency on external uh, resources. There is a need also to look at the best use of our resources and also to rationalize uh, our organizations. I think one uh, point that was also missing in the discussion was the fact that uh, um, we, we, the, there were not a lot of uh, uh, discussion about the, the economic communities and division of labor between the African Union and the regional economic communities. I think this is also a very important issue for the continent. We also saw the perspective of ERB on the new forms of insecurity in the conflicts among pastoralists and their recommendations on how governments can resolve these situations. Take a listen. Yes, I think you are right in uh, um, you know, raising the issue of uh, you know, pastoralism, of this kind of conflict that we have in many countries in the, in the continent, and which are actually very deadly. When you look at the situation in Nigeria, you have so many different conflicts, but you also have a major conflict and very deadly one in the plateau and in other areas of the country uh, where you have this uh, uh, deadly violence between elders and, uh, and uh, you know, uh, uh, laborers, for example. And you can see that in many other places uh, across the continent. I don't think that these are new conflict. I think they are very old conflict. Uh, the fact is that the level of violence has significantly increased. When you have this kind of local conflict and people actually use traditional weapons uh, to defend themselves, or of course the, the level of violence uh, and the, 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 the number of deaths is very different from when you try to solve this conflict by using uh, automatic weapons. So I think the, the nature of the violence has, uh, has changed and uh, the level of violence has changed. And that calls again uh, to um, another way, I think, to, to imagine prevention of conflict. I think the best prevention of conflict is to say that our states have to transform themselves and that the relationship between those who govern and those who are governed has to change significantly. We have to listen to the people and to find you know, solutions to the economic uh, uh, problems that they have. And you know, there is no miracle solution uh, to this issue, for example, of competition for rare resources, you need to sit down, you need to design institutional mechanisms to listen to people and to find ways to reconcile diverging interests.